but it's not like before. Before, when I put food in my mouth, ooh, I'm getting the flavors, I know what it tastes like, but now it's like bland. Imagine everything you ate tasted the same, or like cardboard. That's what a Montreal COVID long hauler says she experiences every day because of her prolonged symptoms to the virus. I can't really taste anything. It's like my tongue has just been scalded basically all through. It's like there is, it's not functioning properly. That's the way it feels for me. This has been Laura Ijirere's reality since contracting COVID-19 last November. A long hauler, Ijirere is part of the 10% of people who, according to experts, have persistent symptoms of the coronavirus, despite having been told by their doctors they were cured. Like my taste buds and my brain are just not... They are not, they are not in sync, basically. So sometimes I have to rely on others to help me. Okay, what do you, um, how does this taste to you? Okay, is this good or is this bad? Or do I need to put more salt or do I need to put more pepper? No, in fact, we do know that other viruses cause uh, people to lose their sense of smell in, in some cases, uh, almost permanently. Um, and so um, when, you know, COVID came along, it wasn't actually new to the medical community that a virus could take away the sense of smell. But it seemed that in this case, it was a more sort of common uh, occurrence in people who got infected. Dr. Tufik says, despite those senses being vital to our everyday lives and the possibility of losing them being nothing new, not much research had been done on helping those who had lost them get them back until the coronavirus appeared. The nasal cavity actually is unique in the human body. Uh, it actually has stem cells in the nose that can regenerate these nerves, which is something that we don't see in other parts of the body. Experts have started olfactory training, or smell training therapy. Hopefully, it will be able to help long haulers regenerate their sense of smell and taste. It involves repeat and deliberate sniffing of a set of odorants, most often lemons, roses, cloves, and eucalyptus, for 20 seconds each, at least for twice a day, for a minimum of three months. I think people are or take it for granted that we have a sense of smell and taste that, that, that can give us this pleasure every day. Tafik says olfactory training is also easy to try at home. All you would need is a handful of jars with some strong smelling natural ingredients. And he says you should avoid anything chemical like Windex or any other synthetic products. In Montreal, Sasha Obis, City News.